the brake, off the brake. It's like gear one now, it's like gear one. Continue. Break, 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 break. Hey guys, welcome to another video. So for those of you who are watching for the first time, this is my niece Taz, who's taking driving lessons and she's using the ultimate driving course. And today is Taz's eighth, eighth lesson, isn't it, yeah? We're sticking to one hour driving lessons and we're not cutting out any footage. Obviously Taz is gonna make mistakes on your driving lesson like everyone does. And we're just gonna show you her progress and how long it could take us another what 10 15 20 lessons we're not sure she's on her eighth lesson today though not doing too bad and what did we say we we're gonna move on to this lesson um reverse by parking yeah we're gonna do a do the first first maneuver so maneuvers like you get a, a lot of people asking me I've a lot of messages uh, asking oh i've had so many lessons but my instructor hasn't made me do any maneuvers is he wasting time to be honest uh, maneuvers it, it's good to do one um, early on in your driving but it's not that important uh, in the past I've had people uh, call me up and say look uh, I can do all my maneuvers I feel I'm ready for my test um, rather than maneuvers it's more important that you're progressing with your general driving that you can do big roundabouts dual carriages you're comfortable doing with that do, doing those if you can if you can do those and you're good at your driving to be honest maneuvers don't take that long yeah obviously Taz is it's, it's, a, it's your first one yeah so you haven't really done any maneuvers before at all so it might take might take us a while doing this but you have watched the video on it yep. we'll discuss it in more detail when we get to the place so we're going to drive to a car park to do the bay park maneuver yeah and um on the way there we're going to continue working on stuff that we were doing last lesson um what what did we as well as crossroads what else did we cover last lesson um meeting situations and adequate clearance and uh, how did they go could have been better yeah it was um Obviously, we had quite a few situations, yeah. yeah. And you know when we were stopping, and we had to give way to oncoming cars. Mm -hmm. What was the thing that you could have improved? Remember? Um, not getting too close to the vehicles in front. Yeah, the ones that are parked up. You were stopping. Like, how much space should you leave, roughly? At least one car space. Yeah, at least one car length. Yeah, we were stopping a bit late there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Priority-wise, you okay? You had that understanding. Yeah. Adequate clearance. Knowing if there's enough space or not to go, yeah. Obviously, I'll still help you. Out. Like with the meeting and the adequate clearance, I'll still question you quite a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, rather than tell you because I was telling you, talking you through it yeah. last lesson, yeah. And with that space, um, it's it's a difficult one. You don't just it doesn't just happen in one lesson, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like just by watching the videos in the ultimate driving course, obviously you're going to get the knowledge. It doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it straight away, though, yeah. yeah. Okay. So with that, the spatial awareness comes with just just practice, yeah. Okay, you'll get you'll get better. You'll get better with. To be honest, all the stuff as we go on, as we get more practice in, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the right turns, remember we sort out a reference point yeah. for your right turns because what happened? What were you doing last lesson? Going too far over the yeah. line. And what reference point did we sort out? What was it? Um, yeah. I said that the line should be like coming in yeah. next to my steering wheel. Yeah, we worked out a reference point and that was yours. Remember, everyone's reference point doesn't be the same, yeah, it can be slightly different. So, um, yeah, so obviously when we get. Um, uh, to the car park we'll discuss the maneuver a bit more but for now i'm going to help you out with um questioning you about the meeting situations and ad adequate clearance mm -hmm. do you need any help on the crossroads turning right at the traffic lights um because last lesson i think you did the last one yourself yeah. was the first one you did yourself yeah first one ever, yeah. Um, we're going to come to some quite tricky crossroads today yeah okay and um you're gonna try them yourself or would you like me to still help you out a bit i think Maybe just my first one, just so you know my positioning. Okay. Getting the right positioning if cool. I can't do it. Otherwise, leave it to you, yeah. Okay, so that the position will help you, everything else you're going to be okay with. I think so. How about your normal turns, like T junctions? I think I'm okay with those. Yeah, so you're going to attempt those yourself, you're going to have responsibility for that. And um, obviously, if you are doing something wrong, I will come in then, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if there's any risk. Pedals, like always, I'm not going to use them. If I do use them, I will tell you why I used them, yeah? Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. So whenever you're ready, move off for me, please. And um, guys, don't forget to follow Taz <laughs> on her social media. Uh, I'll put the link in the video there, yeah? Okay. We should go straight. Yeah, so uh, move off, continue straight, and I'll tell you which way to turn, yeah? Get 
change. So, how much space are you going to leave when passing that van now? That's all. Van. A meter. Good. And why is that important? Um, obviously, if they open their doors, okay. they need to leave space for them to do so. At the end of the road, turn left, please. Do we need us? So what would happen there if you had left in gear two, do you know? Would I have stalled? Yeah, from moving up more so if you would have stalled there. Straight ahead, please. What's our normal driving position? Who's got priority here? Me. So, you know, with your normal driving position, yeah, what is it? It's the middle reference point. Yeah, but it's about obviously, a that's what you use here. Brake. 
bring that clutch up and just follow the cable and it's clear to go. Steer more, steer more, good. And then we have another roundabout coming up and at this roundabout we'll be turning left, first exit. Can you just cover the brake for me? Cover the clutch as well just in case we need to stop. And stop here, clutch down. Select gear one for me. And after that black car, we can go now. Don't rush off the clutch stop. Look ahead, a bit more acceleration, let's speed up more now. A bit more gas, which gear? Good, more acceleration, well done. Good. Is anybody behind us? Yeah. Is she keeping a safe gap? I think so. What's the speed limit on this road? Acceleration, please. What's the hill going to do to the speed of your car now? Slow down. Yeah. I see. So that more, that bit of extra rest will maintain that speed for a shot. Like, were you better stop back there when I should go forward? I was trying to, okay. I was starting to stop, but then obviously I realized there's like a lot of space left. Yeah. Why well, is it not good to leave too much space either? You think? Because obviously you're going to slow everyone down behind you because, like, when you're still trying to start and go, the yeah, lights will change. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get you what I mean there, but people behind could also overtake. Yeah, they could think, why has she left so much space there? Yeah, in front. Good. What are you going to do with your feet now so you don't roll back? Good. And which mirrors do we check when we move off now in traffic? Um, centre and right. Yeah. Why is the left one important to check as well in this kind of situation? Cyclists. Cyclists. And good. Always think cyclists, yeah.
select gear one now, select gear one, continue. It's going to the middle, wait for that white car. Stop here, stop, stop, stop. Okay, and continue, don't rush off the clutch, we can go now because the lights are red, they're going, the van's going to stop now. That's it. So, there, your approach speed was really good, yeah, but which part did you forget on the approach? What do you have to remind you of? Okay, yeah. yeah. And to be honest, you know when you select a gear one, you would have been like, you know when I asked you to get the gear? Okay, keep your normal driving position, please. Which gear now? Should you do with the clutch now? Let's edge right. forward a bit. That's it. Good. Make sure the clutch be now. That's it. Remember what you did here? Yeah, this is the kind of thing we're going to be using for the manoeuvre. You safe? Yep. Well done. Good. Now, let's build up that speed now. Let's not be too slow. Excellent. That's better. Thank you. 
So you know with larger vehicles, a uh, lorry, yeah? This much space is good. We don't want to leave just tires and tarmac, yeah? Okay? Why do you think we need a bit more space? Yeah, go on, use it, you're about um, to use your own brake. Because the closer you are, then it's going to be less likely that they can see you. Good, well done. See, because they haven't got a mirror at the back, have they? They can only see you through the side mirrors. So you know here, even if you're stopped on the bus stop, yeah, a lot of people think this, they try and avoid it, yeah? That's not a bus lane, it's a bus stop, yeah. That's a place for the bus to pull up at. So even if you put, if, even if you don't block it, can a, can a bus pull up on it? No, yeah. No? Oh, no. Where's the bus gonna come from? Behind me, but there's no one there. Exactly, no, but if there was one there, they can't go around your park there, yeah? We're turning left at these traffic lights. Where should the clutch be? That's it, good. No gas, please. Steer more, steer more. That's it. Why wasn't it good to use any gas at that point there? Because that was going to steer out. There's a pedestrian there as well, yeah. And also, did you see how I mean, you had to steer a lot quicker as well? Yeah. So the road's quite narrow here. What should you do with your speed? Slow it down. Yeah. Good. Uh, continue straight ahead, please. Slow down there, yeah. Okay. It wasn't like you slow down too much there, yeah. But if you do slow down too much, what are other cars gonna think you're doing? Okay, yeah. ease off the gas. What's that car doing behind you? Keep to the left. Oh, That's it, okay. And what's the speed limit here now? Day. That's it. What are we doing? 25. Is it safe to do 30? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get up to it. Good. Now which we're in before we're taking that park car. Right, here now we're going up to a roundabout, yeah. And I'll talk you through this. We're turning right at this roundabout, we're going into a car park now. So signal right for me. Good, select gear two, please. Stay in the right hand lane. Stay in the right, stay in the right. And we'll have to stop for that one. Stop here, stop, stop. Select gear one now. Good. And get the biting boy ready because we can go after that black car. That's it. And move off. Good. We're going to take that second exit. Signal left for me now, please. Shopping car park, what kind of risk could we anticipate? Kids, pedestrians. Shopping trolleys? Yeah. Away from the pedestrians, please. That's it. Cars pulling out. You know what these two double white lines mean? No, no overtaking. No. Yeah. So would it be safe to overtake in a place like that? No. Continue straight on, please. So this is the car park, yeah? We're going to go to the quiet end of it. Still treat like a road, keep to the left hand side, yeah? 
could just ease off the gas for me? Keep going. It's falling around for me. It's no gas. No gas. Good. Keep to the left. Stay more. Stay more. See, treat like a road. If there's a road, which side of the road would you have been on there? Long side. That's it. And everyone does that in car parks. Okay, now continue straight down for me, please. Well done. Clutch down, select gear on, please. Brake more, brake more. Off the brake now. Good. I'm going to turn into it. Don't steer too easy. Good. Now steer. Hold and steer more. Good. And straighten your wheel now. Edge forward. Let's go up to that gate, please. Good. Keep to the left a little bit more. Well done. Straighten your wheel now. Steer to the right a little bit, clutch down, and stop here, please. Okay, secure the car. Well done. Okay, so it's nice and quiet here, yeah. Okay, we can speak about your driving so far. How has that been so far? I'll tell you what, if you just switch off the engine for me. Again, just so for the video, the sound is a bit more. Um, people can hear it more. Right, so... Um, how do you think your drawing's been up to here? Um, okay. Better than last week, maybe. Definitely better than last week, yeah. Okay. It's like every lesson you want to see a bit of pro uh, progression, yeah. Mm -hmm. And up to here, is there anything that you think was really bad that you could have done a lot better? Um, not bad. I think it's just when I'm obviously slowing down, my gear changes need to be quicker. Like, you know, when I'm changing to gear one, when you yeah. come to the crossroads and that. Yeah, gear yeah. one or gear two, yeah. Um, I totally agree with that. Yeah, that's the only thing I think that you should be um, doing yeah. a bit sooner. Yeah. Okay, you know when you're approaching your turns. Apart from that, yeah, the odd few mistakes. That's totally normal for now. Yeah. Okay. But the good thing is when you're doing a mistake, I'm questioning you. You'd like to understand mm -hmm. exactly what the risks are involved. Yeah. That's what it's about at this stage. Um, but yeah, this uh, the bay parking maneuver. Yeah. So the in the videos, the ultimate driving course, you watch the video on the reverse bay park. Yeah. To the left, yeah. So, what did you learn from it? Um, like how to do it, or like yeah, whatever. Well, you you watched it. I think it was a five-minute video, yeah. or less. What did you learn from it? Okay, when you're parking, you obviously have to check like not just all your mirrors, but obviously like your blind spots as well. Good, and as well as blind spots, what else do I say in the video? Well, I'll show yeah. you in the video. Back mirror. That's it. Good. Um, before you obviously you're gonna do your turn, you have to make sure that the white line is coming in at like on the video you said the third the last reference point but obviously it's not going to be the same for everyone Good. that third reference that was for, for me because I was yeah. showing you how, how I did it yeah and obviously we took a I made a video of the reference with the line coming in and everything on there yeah mm -hmm. okay so that was my reference point and but for you it's not going to be the same. the same yeah obviously there's a difference in height so what we'll do the reference point part obviously I'm going to help you out with yeah mm -hmm. okay we'll we'll Let's uh, set a reference point for you. Uh, anything else? Um, so when we get to that reference point, how much steering did we use? Did I use? You locked what? it to the left. Good. Yeah. And uh, when you are doing the steering, um, why is it not good to do it while you're stationary? Because you can. I forgot what it's called when you ruin the tyres. Yeah, dry steering. Yeah. Good. And then once you're going in, like in this car, I've got these little blind spot mirrors. Yeah, that I showed you in the video. Yeah, how they help you. You can see a bit, a bit sooner in, in, in those. Yeah, and so you're gonna, you're going to use those, and when your car's straight, what do you do then? Um, you're gonna, no, when you reverse and all, when it's just. Yeah, so you've reversed into the bay now. Oh, you yeah. want to see the two white lines coming in and both the blinds and mirrors. Good. And when the car's parallel, what are you gonna do with the steering? Straighten it up. Good. And then um, obviously you've got to reverse back and it's more we don't go over the like yeah. Well there's no curb here, what we've got here we've got um, another bay line behind us. Mm -hmm. I was just imagine there's a car park there, yeah. And how did I judge that? Um in the video. Didn't you see in your back mirror the yeah. back window? Yeah, the, my reference point was there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, because my seat is a bit more back. But yours is seats forward. It might not be there, it might be at the front window, but we'll sort that out, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you got the understanding there of it, yeah? Yeah. 
Good. Right, so um, the speed that we're going to keep while we do the maneuver, what kind of speed do we keep? Look, really slow, look, no acceleration. Yeah, in this car we don't really need any acceleration. Uh, and also with our um, clutch, if you're going too quick, what are you going to do with the clutch pedal? Put it down. Good. Yeah. You're going to keep that. Remember when we were coming in, you had to edge forward a bit. Yeah. And that give way. That's the kind of thing you're going to do. You're okay. going to edge forward, the car's going too fast, clutch all the way down, yeah? Okay. okay. Right, should we give it a go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first time around, we'll do it like. Let's call it. So, first time around, we do it. Obviously, I'm going to help you out with it, yeah. Okay. Um, so, you know, when um, I do this with my learners, yeah, you can either, like, we can either go through everything and I can make you do all the checks and everything, yeah. Or the other thing is, we can leave the checks out. Obviously, I'll take responsibility for that anyway, yeah. But obviously, checks are really important, yeah. Um, and we're doing a nice quiet place, so I can take responsibility for that. And you can just focus on controlling the speed and your reference points and that. You want yeah. to do it that way? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good. And then when we when you get comfortable with that then we can add then we the Yeah, then we can add, add in the materials. That's, to be honest, that's the way I do a lot of my manoeuvres when I'm teaching someone. So it gives you a bit less to do that you can get used to how to do it, get the technique, and then we can add in the observations, yeah. Remember I'm not saying the observations are one, they're like one of the most important yeah. things, yeah. But it helps when you do it step by step. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So start the car for me. Okay. So what's the first thing we're going to do now? Put it in the bus. Yeah. So get the gear for me. Well then, turn the switch the sensor off because it's broken. It keeps making that noise. Right, so don't worry about your observations. I've got those, yeah? Okay. So what are you going to do with the clutch now? Slowly bring it up. Yeah, to what point? To the car starts moving. No, the... The bite in. That's it. Good. And... That's fine there. And now what should you do with the handbrake? Put it down. That's it. Good. Cover the brake, please. Clutch fully down now. Stop the car here. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. So, we're going to try and... Select a reference point here for you now, yeah? Okay, so you can see that white line there now? Yeah. Where's that coming in? In between the first two stickers. In between the first two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right. So, if you, let's use the next white line, yeah? Okay, so you know when you get these reference points, yeah? It's really important that you sit in your normal seating position and you don't lean forward or to the side. Why is that? Yeah, it's not going to be accurate. Yeah, it's going to change all the time. We could be here all day trying to sort out a reference point, yeah. Okay, so if you hold the steering for me, and reverse back as slow as you can, please. Yeah, not that slow. We've <laughs> got to move here. Yeah. That's it, that's a good good pace. How are you going to slow it down now? That's stop, stop, stop. See, you started off good, then you know it starts to speed up. Slow down straight away. You don't want to start going this fast like how you did now. That was quite obviously it seems slow, yeah? But for a maneuver that's quite fast that was, yeah. Okay. Right, reverse back and I'll stop you at a uh, at the reference point, yeah. And then we'll sort our reference. Stop there, stop, stop, stop. Okay. So where's that white line now? Um on the second one. It's actually on it. Yeah. For what I can see. Yeah. Okay, so exactly on that marker there. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. So we're gonna try this, if it doesn't work, then we're gonna change the reference point, yeah. So guys, with the reference points, I've, I've got um, I've got markers here on the door panel, a lot of instructors do have them. Obviously, even if you haven't got stickers there, or markers, you can just use your door handle, or, and try with it, if it doesn't work, then you obviously change it accordingly. Ready? So here now, as we move the car, we're gonna fully lock our steering wheel, yeah, okay, to the left. So again, if you come off the brake, Good, start steering quickly now, all the way. Good, bring that clutch up very slowly. Well, that's a really good speed. Well done. Where should the clutch be now, you think? That's it, well done, bring it back up a bit now. That's what you do when you're moving up, down. Well done. Good. Okay, stop the car here a sec, please. Right, so if you have a look in that little round mirror now. Yeah. Can you see the white line, the bay line? How about in that mirror? Yeah. What does that mean? That you're in a good spot. Yeah, that means we're heading in. So you know when you're around this point, yeah, when the car, the back, the back, the back of the car, sorry, heading in, 
check both mirrors to assess what's happening here. Yeah. Okay, so if you can see both the lines, that's a good sign. Okay. So keep reversing, keep looking at those side mirrors. Remember, I've got the checks for you at the moment. And when the lines look parallel, on, yeah, on both sides, then stop the car from here. Okay, so go on then. Get the bike, please. That's it. We're on a slightly downhill grading, yeah, so the car will roll forward if you don't have the correct biting point. Well done. Okay, so now what we're going to do with our steering wheel as you move? Um, starting up. Yeah, so we're on downhill gradient here now, yeah. So if you come off the brake, what's going to happen to the car now? Go forward. It's going to roll forward. And just imagine, obviously, we're in a quiet spot at the moment. Yeah, it's my you're in a really busy shopping car park, yeah, like you would be after you pass your test, and someone's walking in front of your car. What's going to happen? You could hit them. Yeah. So how are you going to ensure you don't roll back now? Well, I mean, roll forward. Handbrake. Without using the handbrake. Put the brake. Yeah, but yeah, you've got the brake on. But when you come off the brake, I'll get my white point. That's it. Good. That's it. Just there. And now, if you come off the brake and quickly straighten up now, roll well turn. Good, right. So here now, obviously that car's still too far forward, hanging out the bay. Yeah. So you know, you know the line at the back. Yeah, it could be a okay, but we've got a line here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can use your side mirrors, but you know the side mirrors. Do they give you a true picture? No. Well, how does it make things appear? Uh, appear? Wider. Yeah, wider and further away. Yeah. Yeah. So if you use your side mirrors, again, a lot of people after experience they can use the side mirrors as well. But for now, when well, you look over your right shoulder, obviously, can you see anything out the back window? No. White line, no? So use your front window, yeah, okay? Keep, keep looking at that point there, yeah. And as you reverse, you'll see that the, the line at the back getting closer to you, yeah. Have a look at it and move the car back slowly, please. Keep it slow. Good, stop there. Okay, right. Handbrake and neutral. So you know the white line now, yeah? Okay, yeah. where's that coming in? Um, like the corner, but I'm corner of the window. Okay, can you remember that? Yeah. That's your reference point for for stopping here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you let that white line come any more further down, what's going to happen? You could, hit, if there was a curb there, like park, I just can hit it. Brilliant. Okay. So, did that reference point work for us? Do you think? Yeah. Do you think we're perfectly in the centre of our bay? Yeah. Yeah. We are. Would you say? Uh, let's have a look. Really. Which side we are? A tiny bit close to you reckon? That side. So which side is there more space on? This side. Okay. Oh no. Okay. If you get your glasses on the right way, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. Yeah, look, this side is, mind you, you are, because we're at an angle, the back of it does look a bit closer there, yeah. But they were, initially, we were a bit too far out from this side and a bit closer to that side. Okay. But that doesn't really matter that much unless you've got cars parked on either side, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but we want to try and obviously get into the centre here. So, what reference point did you use? Um, it was like first time it was on the no in between the two. Then so it was not, on not, it. The, not the first oh, time. It was, you know on the one? The, it was on the middle one. It was on the middle one. Yeah. So to end up a bit more to this side, yeah. I want you to do it just before the middle one. Then yeah. Okay. Because if this point brings you here, doing it just slightly okay. earlier, bring you perfectly in the centre. Okay. Should we try that again? Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's try it again and again. I love responsibility for the observations, yeah, till you get till you get the hang of it. And I will help you out still, but I'll probably help you out a little bit less. Yeah? Go on then. Let's go back to the starting position. Just so remember before you move off, you can do these observations before you move off, yeah. Okay. Stay more to the right. That's it. So no point in the car park should you be rushing out. Yeah, mm -hmm. Remember if the car's going too fast, what should you do? Put the clutch all the way down. That's it. Yeah. Right, so start when you're ready please. Do you have to take it into neutral first? Yeah, to get rid of neutral first and then. That's it. So remember the speed that you're gonna move the car at, yeah? 
I remember that new reference point that we just decided. Should I do it for the second line? Yeah, so. we could do it for the second one, that's fine. Remember the speed, yeah? What speed to keep her up? Don't rush. Take your time. The slower the better. The speeding up too much. Are you at the new reference point? Yeah. Yeah? So where is that white line now? Just before the Okay. So now as you move, what are you gonna do? Lock my steering wheel. Yeah, and what kind of speed are you gonna move the car up? Slowly. Yeah. Okay, slowly is in hardly moving. Go then. Well done. See that's a good speed you're maintaining with this steering as well. If you steer too slow it's not gonna work. The steering speed and your car speed has to be like the same every time you do it, yeah. Okay, so this steer quickly, move the car slowly, just like you did. Continue moving now. Well done. Okay, let's move a little bit quicker now. See, for now, there's no point in just looking at that point or whatever now, yeah. Now, let's have a look in your mirrors, even look around if you need to. See that roll forward? You had it brilliant, yeah. It's coming in nicely. And then when you put the clutch down at the correct time to stop, what happened? What should you have pressed with it? And the brake. Yeah, okay, so you roll forward. Obviously, on a flat seat, we wouldn't have done that, yeah. But we're not, we're on a slight gradient, yeah. What do you think of your positioning from the bay lines? Um, too close to that side. You reckon? I don't know. I think maybe, so. maybe about two millimeters closer to that side, but it's it's really good. So what are you going to do now with your steering as you move? And straighten up. Yeah, and how much turns is it to straighten up? I'm going to tell you in the middle. Brilliant, good. So, remember, see if you can prevent the car from rolling forward. Well done. And what's your point of force stopping? Um, the back line is coming in the corner. Well done. Is it there? Yeah. It is. So what should you do with the car now? Well done. Yeah, so this time you were right, we're a tiny bit close to this side now. So again we're we inside the bay, yeah. Okay. Um so what what point did you use? So first one was here, bang in the middle. Yeah. In the middle marker. Then you, did you do it just here or did you do it a bit earlier than that? Like just in front of it. Yeah, about there. Okay, so do it. Just in front of you, a bit closer. Yeah. That would be perfect, yeah. Okay, you understand that? Yeah. So, would you like to give it a go yourself? With my observations, or like? No, you can leave your observations okay. out without your observations if you want. If you find, if you think that's going to be easier for you. Okay. Yeah. 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 So let's give it a, give it a go. Try it all yourself. Remember last time when you went out of the bay? What happened to our speed? Yeah, too fast. Yeah. So can you control it this time? <laughs> let's see. Because right. so getting getting a good starting position is really important, yeah. So you know how you've been like roughly about a meter away from the bay lines to start off with, and your car's nice and straight. That has a big impact on on the maneuver as well, yeah. Because if you're way too close to the lines, you're not going to be able to use use them as a reference point, yeah. Okay. okay. Ready? Should I use any gas? I don't need to use gas, do I? Not really, because we're we're downhill. Probably will when you get to that point over there, yeah? Don't bring it higher, don't bring it higher. Okay, uh, stop there for me. See there, you're moving really good, yeah? We're at a brilliant pace, and then all of a sudden you started bringing the clutch higher. What happened to the speed of the car? Faster. Yeah, you know if you're gonna move off and drive on, obviously not because there's a <laughs> gate there. We're doing this uh, maneuver, yeah. Then bring the clutch up and accelerate. But maneuvering, it's all about that clutch control, yeah. Okay, okay it's all yours in. Take your time with it. Don't rush. It's the best advice I can give you for this maneuver, yeah. Okay, well for any maneuver. 
I've got the observation still though, yeah. Anything that went? Um, okay. Are we inside the bay? Yeah. I yes. Think so. Yeah. Um, a little bit too close to that side. That's it. Just a straightening up could have been a little bit sooner. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know, when you straightened up, yeah? Yeah. You got a bit too close to the, the, well, the back of the car, um, got too close to that bay line before you started straightening up, yeah? Okay. But saying this kind of situation, yeah, looking inside the bay, say if there's a car parked next to you, yeah, you've got passengers with you, like yeah. someone big and fat like me yeah, that, that, that can't really get out yeah yeah and so it's important to be in the center isn't it yeah yeah okay so what would you do would you go all the way back to the start and start again move forward and just try and reverse back in good yeah that's all you do you can move forward and you guys um, you guys watching you know on your test if you're not happy with your positioning as long as you've done your observations go forward readjust and come back yeah and obviously um the way i'm teaching this move is to be parallel with the lines and then reverse yeah. at 90 degrees but again on your test if you feel um, comfortable you can you don't even have to start off like that you can just pull up at an angle and just reverse in okay. yeah again once you get more experience you can try that as well yeah but for now like you just done it like that what on your third attempt was it should we try with our observations now which is quite important yeah yeah ready so before we get to our starting position, yeah, obviously you saw all the observations in the in the video, yeah. Shall I just um, tell you where to check as you're doing it? Um, yeah. Cool. Let's keep recording. Good. Okay, so let's select that gear. So I want you to do everything just how you did it, yeah? But I'm going to help you with the observation, that's all, yeah? Okay. Uh, I think, if you know, if we're just questioning about where to look, yeah? At the correct time, you think you can do it? Yeah, rather than Try. just telling you to look there, there, and yeah. there. Because obviously you watch the video, that's the whole, whole point of view, so you've got the knowledge, yeah? Right. Ready? So before moving off, where should we look? Um, centre and right mirror and then right brown spot and the back mirror. Yeah, so <laughs> you just made your <laughs> neighbour really, yeah. Okay, ideally start from your right shoulder over there. Yeah, and check all around, check all your mirrors. Yeah, obviously just imagine there's pedestrians about cars pulling out. Look out the back screen now. That's it. And now start reversing if it's safe. Another quick glance out the back, then look at your reference point. Okay, stop there. So, what happened there with the reference point? I think I got it. You, you think they're the correct, still at the correct point? Just hit normal. No. You, it's we too just far passed back. It. Yeah, we just passed it. Yeah. That's what happened, you know, when we added in the observations. Yeah, you've got to time it. Look, you don't want to just keep staring at the reference point. Yeah. So, you know, if the reference point's not nowhere nearby, yeah, use that time you've got 
to look around, look out the back. Because where you're racing, that's the most important part of checking, yeah. You don't want to be standing, like the first time when I took responsibility, it was okay for you to do that, yeah, okay. But now, obviously, when you reference when nearby, you have a look there, but you don't want to be just standing there all the time, yeah, no. okay. Why is that not good? Because then you're not going to be looking at your observations. That's it, good. Okay, and so we're going, we're going to start again now, yeah. So remember where to start your checks from. Good. And I want you to keep looking out the back for now. Go on. Keep looking out the back. And now start looking for your reference point. Car's too fast though. It's too fast. Okay, sit normal. So are we at the same reference point? No. Yeah. We need to go back a bit. Yeah, we missed it again, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. Right, stop there. We're gonna run out of space now. <laughs> yeah, okay. So go forward. Yeah, we are going to go forward. We'll see how that affects you, just adding these observations. See how yeah. easy it was without the observations. Yeah? So let's um, let's go back to the stop. Just go straight to Gibbon. Yeah, yeah. Stay to the left a little bit, please. That's fine. And stop there. And so see, as you were checking the back, yeah, your clutch came up higher, yeah. Okay. And then the car started going too fast, yeah. Ready? So before you move, where are you going to look now? Good. That's a good speed you're maintaining there, yeah. Okay, look there again and look there again. That's too fast now. Okay. So continue what you're supposed to be doing. Good, now before your car swings out, where should you look? Where's it main danger? That's it. That's where you're going to cause the most and you're going to swing out there now, yeah. Okay, so have a look at that blind spot again. Is it safe? Anyone there? No. Good. And look at the back as well as you're reversing. Good. And check that blind spot again. Check the back again for me. That's it, good. We're going to constantly just observe, yeah. Okay, have a look again around. That's it, now focus on what like you're doing on your, on your lines, yeah. Down with another quick look out at the back, please. That's it. Well done. So, as you're reversing and as you're straightening up, I want to see another look out at the back, please. Be safe. Okay, how do you find that? Um, a lot harder than doing it without observations. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot more confusing. Yeah, there's a lot to do. See, if we had started off just by doing everything, it gets too much. It normally takes a bit longer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I always try and offer you this to you guys where you can just do it without the observations first, which is fine because obviously I'm with you and I'm, I'm taking responsibility for that. But observations are really important. Like I said, like here, you might be thinking, oh, what's the point? There's no one around yet. Yeah. But we're not teaching you just, we're here. Like even on your test exam, we can make you do in a quiet place, yeah. But after you test, are you going to be, oh, the car park's always quiet like this? No. So you're going to get ready to do in like really busy places, which, you know, when you get a bit more experience, I will, I will take you like to the busy part of the car parks and make you do it there as well, yeah. Okay. Right, so um, observations, like I said, you know um, when you steer to the left, yeah. Which is the most important observation there? Um, your right. Yeah, that side because the. Oh, well, why? Because your cars can swing out that side. Yeah. yeah. And you constantly keep looking where as well. The back window. Yeah. See how many times I made you look at the back. Situation can change within a few seconds at a busy place. Yeah. Right. So um, you wanna try it again? I reckon you could do it all yourself. 
people here, give it a go, give it a go. See, um, the key point to this, uh, obviously you're gonna end up inside the bay, yeah, and you're gonna do the correct observations, yeah, okay? What's the key factor um, that decides whether we're gonna we're in the bay or not? Uh, first reference point. That's it, that. So you gotta time your observations with that reference point correctly, yeah. Like I said, you don't wanna keep steering, steering there, yeah. And if you steer way too fast, I mean, if your speed is way too quick, that's going to mess it up as well. Yeah. Your steering's way too slow, that's going to mess it up as well. At the moment, you're keeping it all good. Yeah. Okay. Every time you've done it, you've kept your steering at the same speed and the speed of the car at the correct as well. If that differs, then obviously this could take ages. Yeah, but you're doing it well. Right, so if you go to the starting point and give it another go. It's all yours now, yeah? Okay. Okay, stop the car then. Stop the car. So what do you think I've stopped you? Come to my observations. <laughs> yeah, okay. Remember, you've got the responsibility for the observations, yeah. I suppose that's the a, that's a bad thing of me letting you guys do without the observations. You're going to get used to doing it without the observ observations, yeah. But you've got to, you've got to do it. So just imagine you didn't check anything. Yeah, you started reversing and there's someone walking behind your car, what would happen there? I could hit them. <laughs> yeah, okay. And that's something that we definitely don't want to be doing, yeah. So, let's start again. So you're looking at me, what do, what are you thinking? How did I do? How do you think you did? I don't know. Well, I'm in the bay, so... Yeah, you're in the okay. bay, so is that a good thing? Yeah. Is there anything that you thought you, you could have done a bit better, maybe? Um, straighten up a little quicker. I, think, I thought you were going to forget that, because I thought you kind of... You, I'm not sure if you thought you'd straightened up, yeah, because you took a bit off. But how much are you supposed to take off? One and a half. One and a half, yeah. I okay, think my body point wasn't right because I kept going back and not just stopping. Yeah, but even if you, obviously we do want to go back. As soon as you start moving, you should just quickly straighten yeah. up while you're moving, yeah. Then when you, tr you did realise what happened there, yeah, and you sorted it, yeah, but while you, when you're doing it, you did roll forward a little bit there. Yeah. Like obviously we've already talked about the risks yeah. involved with that. But overall, um, really good with it. If you could switch off the engine for me, because I, I was almost up, yeah, okay. Um, but overall, uh, obviously our main aim was obviously to get this manoeuvre done today, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you know you had to do it? Um, 
I think I know how to, it's just like getting it good now. Yeah. Like all my observations and everything. Yeah, okay. Um, first time you do move, that's what it's about. Like, obviously in the next few lessons we could go into your car park and just try it again. But this does help you out with your like clutch control in general. Yeah. And makes you understand the clutch more. That's why it's good to do a manoeuvre early on in your driving, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but I want you to write down your reference point, whatever your reference point is. Yeah. yeah? Okay, obviously you know it because everybody's reference point doesn't be the same like I explained in those videos, yeah, in the yeah. open driving course. Um, so I can't remember everyone's. Mm -hmm. Like, what? my job is to help you find a reference yeah. point, yeah, okay? And then um, just make sure you guys remember it, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. remember the technique and the way you're using the mirrors already, yeah. And not once have you, like, some people can't assess when it's, like, straight. You look to the mirrors, you've noticed both the lines are parallel and you stopped at the correct point and straightened up at the correct point mm -hmm. as well, which is really good. Any questions, anything you don't mm. understand about this? No. Brilliant. Not at the moment. Good. Yeah. And remember, if there is, just don't be afraid to ask questions. Okay. Mm. But you can always go back to the video. Like, if you watch the video again now, it's going to make a lot more sense to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. So always don't, don't just watch the videos once. Obviously, I'll ask you to watch them before you come yeah. on the driving lesson. Yeah. But when you go back, as you know, you've got more important things to do. Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, it's less than five minutes of video. Yeah. yeah. Watch it again. It's going to make sense. That's what the course is there for. So you guys can just refresh on everything yeah? yeah and it'll save us time in the car then yeah yeah but brilliant sorted yeah lesson done i think we did probably five minutes less than the hour but there's no point driving out of here for five minutes <laughs> on the road yeah. yeah okay but um next lesson i think those crossroads we always need to keep working on those yeah, yeah? okay but um um next thing how do you like how would you feel about going on dual carriageways like, like driving faster? Nine, like a big one? Yeah, or driving like 40, 50. I feel like that's one thing I need to learn now, is to build up my speed, because I don't know how to do that. Yeah, I think yeah. going on dual carriage, because I feel your steam's at a okay standard now, yeah. We'll see how you feel, we might give that a go. So watch the video on dual carriage, please. Okay. For next lesson. Yeah, because then, um, like I said, I think that will help you with the, with the stuff, yeah. Might be a bit intense, but I think, because everything else, it's it's going to keep getting better. Yeah. You know, we know your driving's not, perfect at the moment mm -hmm. yeah but everything else will just keep getting better as we continue with the lessons yeah so yeah. wanted to do something new next lesson yeah, yeah? brilliant sorted and um, guys like always thanks for watching and don't forget to like and like and subscribe uh, 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 <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and the link for the ultimate driving course will be in the comments and thanks for watching see you in the next video